All right, let's just jump right into it. We need to talk about NVIDIA, the undisputed king of AI hardware, and a potential challenge that's coming from a place you might not expect, Tesla. And believe me, this is about way more than just cars. We're talking about the very foundation of artificial intelligence. I mean, it sounds kind of crazy, right? NVIDIA is on top of the world. They power pretty much every single major AI company out there. But the real question we're going to dig into is whether that very dominance makes them the perfect target for a new kind of competition. So first, let's just set the stage and get a feel for just how powerful NVIDIA really is right now. They are, and there's no other way to say it, the AI chip king. Now check out this number, 60%. What is that? That is NVIDIA's profit margin on its AI chips. Think about that for a second. For every dollar of stuff they sell, an incredible 60 cents is pure profit. In the world of manufacturing, that's, well, that's just an insane number, almost unheard of. You know, there's this famous quote, people often say it was Jeff Bezos who said it, and it just perfectly captures this whole situation. When a company has margins that are this high, it's basically like putting up a giant neon sign for the rest of the world that says, hey, come compete with us. There is a massive opportunity here. And all this success, all this profit, it comes from being right at the center of the AI boom. I mean, every big player, OpenAI, Google, Microsoft, they all depend on NVIDIA's chips to train their models. NVIDIA is basically selling the picks and shovels in the middle of an AI gold rush. But see, that kind of dominance, it's practically an invitation for challengers. So enter Elon Musk with a plan that, honestly, at first, just sounds completely nuts. And this, this was the bombshell moment. Musk just comes out and says that Tesla, you know, the car company, is going to jump into one of the most complicated, most expensive manufacturing games on the entire planet, building its own chips from scratch. But here's the key. This isn't just some random idea. As this slide shows, Tesla has run this exact same play before. Remember a decade ago? They had the same issue with batteries. Supply was slow, it was expensive, it wasn't good enough. So what did they do? They just decided to build their own. And now they're applying that exact same logic to chips. If you want it better, cheaper, and more efficient, you gotta bring it all in house. And really, this has been coming for a long, long time. I mean, they already kicked Nvidia out of their cars way back in 2019 to put in their own custom chip. So now they're just taking the next logical step. It's not enough to just design the chip. Now they want to actually make the thing themselves. Okay, so to really get why this is such a massive deal, we need to quickly pull back the curtain on the system that Tesla is trying to just completely bypass. So let's take a look at the hidden supply chain that powers the whole AI industry. It's a simple question, right? But the answer, well, it's way more complicated than you might think. Nvidia is the brand we all know, sure, but they don't actually make their own chips. So who does? It's really this incredible three-step dance between three different corporate giants. It all starts with a company called ASML in the Netherlands. They build these unbelievably complex machines. Then, those machines get sold to TSMC in Taiwan, who uses them to actually fabricate the silicon chips. And it's only then that NVIDIA takes over to do the design, the packaging, and sell the final product to everyone else. And the sheer scale of these companies, it's just mind-boggling. We're talking about a combined market value of nearly $7 trillion, all concentrated in this one absolutely critical supply chain. This is where all the power and all the profit in the AI hardware world lives right now. So here's the takeaway. The entire AI revolution is basically resting on a system that is, at the same time, massively profitable and incredibly fragile. It's a high-stakes house of cards, really. And that fragility, that's exactly what creates the opening for a company like Tesla to come in and try to build something completely new. Okay, so this brings us to the really big idea, the grand vision. This isn't just about Tesla making chips for its cars anymore. This is about the potential for a whole new, totally self-contained AI ecosystem. One that's designed for a single purpose, to create a completely unfair competitive advantage. I like to think of it as an AI supernova. It's this strategic convergence of three totally separate companies, Tesla, SpaceX, and XAI, all coming together to create something that's just fundamentally different from how things are done today. So piece one, Tesla. Their role is the chip maker. But the goal isn't just to make chips, it's to make hyper-efficient silicon that's perfectly optimized for their own AI software. 
This creates this super fast feedback loop where the hardware guys and the software guys are working hand in hand, pushing innovation way faster than anyone who's just buying chips off the shelf. Next up, SpaceX. And this is where things get a little sci-fi. The vision here is to use its rockets to build huge AI data centers in space. Why? Well, think about it. The biggest things holding back AI on Earth are physical limits, land, power, and cooling. Space basically lets you bypass all of that. You've got nearly limitless solar power and the perfect cold vacuum of space for cooling. And finally, XAI, Musk's AI company. It becomes the one and only customer for this entire crazy infrastructure. And it wouldn't just be getting more computing power, it'd be getting smarter computing power. A whole system where the hardware and the software are designed together to be as efficient as possible. That could unlock AI abilities that its rivals just can't touch. So when you put it all together, this is what you get. It's a completely vertical, closed-loop system for AI. Tesla makes the custom hardware, SpaceX builds the infrastructure with no limits, and XAI gets to use all of it. The whole strategic point is to create access to the cheapest, most powerful, and most efficient AI compute on or off the planet, all while just completely sidestepping the current giants of the industry. Which leaves us with one massive question. If a major player like this actually pulls it off, if they successfully build their own hyper-optimized, unconstrained AI ecosystem, what does that mean for everybody else who's still stuck relying on that old, fragile supply chain? This might be more than just a chip war. It could be a fundamental shift in who gets to hold the power to build the future.